just to get some more reaction now to Conservative Party Conference, which has uh, just wound up. But joining us now is Anna Firth, the Conservative MP for Southend West. Anna, great to have you on the show today. I put it to you that collective responsibility in your party is, is, is finished. It's over. How can you govern when so many people, senior people, including in the Cabinet, are shooting from the hip publicly about what sort of policies the government should be pursuing? Well, that certainly isn't what we saw today uh, in the hall. Uh, it was an incredibly well-received speech. Uh, the Prime Minister delivered uh, and presented the speech extremely well. I thought she le dealt with the protesters uh, extremely well and showed that she can think on her feet. And we heard about the, uh, the anti-growth coalition. Uh, and uh, and uh, you, 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 you saw the Cabinet lined up in front of the stage. Uh, I thought one of the interesting thing was, was, was that the Prime Minister was very clear with the Cabinet uh, about uh, the things that she wants them uh, to deliver in the next two years. It was certainly a very, very well presented speech and a very united, uh, a united Cabinet and a very united hall. Question is, is it united country? And clearly there's a huge debate going on about benefits in particular and how they should be linked, whether that's to inflation, how much do you pay in that? Um, as I've said to, to others, there was nothing in the speech about that. One of the, the key questions for backbenchers. Well, this was about the Prime Minister setting out her vision uh, for Britain and also showing us a little bit more about the person that she is. So, you know, she, 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 she gave her headlines of growth, growth, growth. She articulated her conservative argument uh, about the pie and growing the pie and how if we don't grow the pie, uh, then there's less to actually distribute. And I think that was very, very important. But we also saw a bit about uh, who she is. And I think it's, personally, I think it was very exciting to hear her childhood, the, uh, the way her, the accent on education, it shows why she is so keen on education and opportunity. First Prime Minister that we've ever had coming from a comprehensive school. And that story that she told us about uh, going to, uh, to visit um, an airport or wherever it was where, she, where her brother uh, was uh, suggested that he would be a pilot and she would be an air stewardess. I mean, we've got a real insight there uh, into why she is so passionate about equality. And personally, uh, I think that's, uh, that's encouraging and a very exciting programme for the country. And there's been a, a Downing Street, the usual Downing Street sort of press spokesperson briefing where they talk, talk to journalists about the messaging. Um, Tory whips will seek to restore order over critical government ministers. That's from the Downing Street briefing, uh, which has uh, just uh, finished. That's basically it. You speak out, you're losing the whip. Well... At the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, clear what you're expecting me to speak out about. I mean, I, I, I've just listened to an incredibly uh, positive vision for Britain, a direction in which I think we do need to go uh, to pursue growth and to put the economy first. We also heard uh, that we are, her very positive uh, support for Ukraine. You will have noticed that that got a massive standing ovation uh, inside the hall. Yes, of course, there are going to be bumps and hiccups um, along the way. Yes, there are going to be challenges, but, but we've seen a Prime Minister who's already delivered on an incredible package of energy relief to help working people, to help normal people, and now she's set out her vision to make, it, make Britain, you know, invest, invest in Britain. Uh, the investment growth zones programme, I think, is extremely positive. And this is a programme which was exciting to listen to. There was an exciting atmosphere in the hall, and there was certainly no no disunity. Obviously, we had the we had the two clowns who came in and tried to try to um, disrupt uh, everything. But you know, these things happen, don't they, at party conferences? Do you believe they have a right to protest? Yes, of course. I believe everybody has a right to protest. I do think there's a time and a place. Uh, but as it happened, uh, the Prime Minister dealt with it brilliantly uh, and, uh, a, 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 and in a way it energised everybody uh, and everybody, everybody you know, saw what the, their, they were trying to do. It's a, a, a bit of a, a, cheap, uh, a cheap jibe. Uh, everybody in that hall was 100% behind the Prime Minister and, and she, she dealt with it brilliantly, the anti-growth coalition. 
And there the they first, were. thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much indeed for uh, joining.